Hey, GrowDV is uh, glad to introduce you uh, to this course, Master APB Protocol. Uh, it's a four-step course, so you'll start off with the APB uh, Protocol fundamentals, and the second step, you will be doing the APB Slave Design uh, using the Verilog, and the uh, third step, uh, you will be building the uh, APB Master Agent and the other verification components to verify uh, this slave design and uh, fourth step you will be doing the APB protocol self-assessment to know more about this course uh, continue uh, watching this video and to enroll into this course visit growdv.com slash courses hey hi there so welcome to this uh, course on APB uh, in this course we will look at APB uh, from three points of view uh, we will look at it from a protocol point of view and then we will look at it uh, from a design point of view and we will look at it from a verification point of view. Uh, for a long time uh, we wanted to uh, stitch uh, something uh, end to end right that is look at some small protocol and then um, look at it from how you can design something around it and then how do you do verification of that and idea is not to uh, go too deep into each of the aspect but to build one of the solutions okay so it's not that we don't want to like the idea is not to build the best solution for this particular problem but idea is to build one of the solution but to take through the uh, you know take you through the journey of complete process that is understand the protocol and then understand how you take a protocol and do a small design uh, that is useful in real life and then uh, you take the same uh, protocol and uh, then design all the uh, verification components around it right so that was the whole idea so as a part of this course what we will do is uh, we will look at APP protocol initially starting from a software point of view and then look at it from a system point of view and then look at it from a signal point of view and then go into understanding how a read write works uh, in terms of its timing diagrams and then uh, translate that knowledge in the design world wherein uh, divide them up uh, so build a small uh, APB slave design uh, which can be used uh, for any of the peripheral IPs for uh, implementing the register block and as a part of that implement uh, APB FSM that's given in the specification and then um, show how to handle APB read in that so that you can read the registers of a particular IP and then showcase how to handle APB write uh, so that you can program a particular register so that's uh, where we do the design and then coming to APB verification uh, so we look at it from three point of view uh, from the point of view of stimulus uh, we will use the UVM so write a UVM uh, you know sequence sequence item and then also create an uh, agent uh, and the agent containing uh, your sequencer driver to drive the uh, APB interface and then uh, we'll have a monitor to monitor uh, the APB interface and then we'll also show how to uh, we'll not go in a like a full detail of RAL but at least how to write an adapter because we are thinking of uh, building the uh, register read write block so how do you write an adapter for your uh, APB agent and then uh, look at how you can write various assertions on uh, the APB interface and then how you can do the basic uh, functional coverage okay so this way uh, we go through the end-to-end -end process and uh, showcase that from specification how do you do the design and how do you implement the verification uh, components required for uh, APB protocol and idea is that we may not be able to do the same for all complex protocols right because it's a uh, it, it's going to become very lengthy okay so idea is do it through the APB which is quite simple enough and then uh, once you go through the process uh, you will be able to imagine the same things uh, when you learn any other protocol like let's say you learn I2C protocol SPI protocol or eventually a PCIe protocol uh, then you will be able to imagine how uh, that's going to get translated into uh, you know in terms of design and how uh, it's going to get translated into verification uh, you will get that overall perspective and that's the uh, objective of uh, this particular course so this course is going to be uh, done in three parts so the first part we look at APB protocol and second part uh, we apply that uh, protocol uh, knowledge to do a small 
APB slave design and in the third part we'll apply the uh, protocol knowledge to build the uh, APB master agent and the uh, rest of the verification components so as a part of uh, as a part of first session uh, we will look at some of the real life use cases and then uh, based on that we'll extract a logical view of the system and uh, then we'll look at how the software use that particular system and then when software issues read and writes how that uh, executes on a signal level view right so that is where uh, we will close uh, on the app protocol session and uh, then we'll move to slave design uh, we'll do the slave design for implementing the uart register block and there we will understand how the uart space uh, register space is uh, uh, implemented or defined and then we'll implement the register block uh, using three part solution wherein we'll build a app bus fsm and then we'll look at how uh, that fsm helps us implement the register read and write uh, 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 respecting the protocol that has been defined and uh, in the third part uh, we will go to implementation of the app master agent and uh, some of the verification components uh, here the prerequisite is that you are expected to have familiarity with the system verilog and uvm uh, so we'll start out with defining uh, apb system verilog interface then how do we connect the apb agent to dut how do we configure it uh, for the different number of slaves uh, and their address spaces to be decoded then we'll build a apb sequence item and few sequences then initiating the uh, read writes to those registers using the RAL. Uh, the RAL will be very brief. Uh, it will be mostly focused from the adapter point of view. And then uh, we'll build an APB master agent in UVM, uh, primarily focusing on how driver drives the uh, sequence item on the virtual interface and how the APB master monitor monitors the virtual interface and creates the uh, transactions and then we we'll look at one uh, APB uh, protocol checker and a coverage block uh, that will implement uh, concurrent assertions and the uh, functional coverage and uh, that will uh, close the whole session uh, uh, covering end to end from protocol to design to verification. Uh, thank you. Uh, look forward to you uh, attending the course and uh, following it up with the tests on the APB uh, to gain mastery over APB protocol.